Good uh, afternoon, everybody. Nice of you to come to this uh, public lecture on uh, European banking beyond the crisis. Of course, we have at some point to start beyond the crisis rather than in the crisis. Uh, we are very pleased uh, to have Professor Sean Darmin uh, here today. I will introduce him later on. Um, and I want to give a little introduction on the, on the topic and also on the, on the Duisenberg School of Finance. We are running now for about a year and uh, have thought further about our strategy and um, uh, what we really want to achieve is a two-pillar strategy. Uh, on the one hand, uh, the academic rigor, so working with four universities, UFA, uh, Free University, Erasmus and Tilburg. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, we are founded by the financial industry and we really want to put that also in our courses. So apart from the academic courses, uh, the students also get practitioner seminars, as we call them. So over lunchtime, they hear from the CFO of ING uh, what went uh, okay with the risk management model, but also, and that they take some more time on that, what went wrong uh, with the risk models. Uh, and, and that's really, if you study risk management, this combination, getting the academic side and the practitioner side, is quite useful. Uh, they also do an internship in the last uh, month. And in that sense, the philosophy of the, the Duisburg School of Finance is really to combine the academic side uh, with, uh, with the side of the practice. Because in the end, finance happens in practice and you can go out and see the data and see what is happening. Uh, today, uh, we have... Uh, we have uh, uh, Professor Sean Damien from INSEAD, I, I, I would almost say in the same tradition. Uh, 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 Professor Damien has worked uh, for a long time on banking issues, uh, in particular on, on trends in European banking, uh, also going out uh, uh, to the industry, uh, doing interviews, seeing what is happening there. And um, he's also done some work uh, for the Dutch Ministry of Finance about 10 years ago uh, on public policy issues. And I would still like to quote that uh, it is, has been published in the uh, Journal of Common Market Studies. Uh, and one of the things uh, which Professor Demin uh, came up with was that these small countries, Netherlands, Switzerland, Belgium, share a common thing that they have quite large banks. And that means if you have to rescue them, and at that time uh, it was very quiet, there was no uh, issue of a crisis, then equity if you have to replace the capital of such a bank, equity to GDP is running into these big numbers for the largest banks like UBS or ING or uh, Fortis, uh, 5 to 10 percent of GDP. If you take the number for Germany or the UK, it is only 1 or 2 percent because GDP is far larger. So how to square with that? And we have seen uh, in the crisis that this has been a real issue, uh, that the small countries struggle uh, with the large banks. Um, going a bit further on the topic of today, and Professor Demin will say more about it, but about uh, European banking, uh, if you go to uh, the supervisory side, uh, everybody knows about the La Rochere report, which came out, and uh, last week uh, heads of state uh, uh, have decided about the way forward. And if you read the report carefully, we, we should get a European system of uh, financial supervision with three steps, like EMU, uh, Economic and Monetary Union, was also done in three steps. The first step is, at the moment, improve national supervision, harmonize the rules and powers so that <coughs> the one in France and the one in the Netherlands can give the same kind of sanction to a financial institution which uh, is doing something wrong. Are still quite different uh, across Europe. The second stage uh, put the current committees, uh, the level three committees for supervision, the Committee of European Banking Supervisors, the one for insurance and pension funds and the one for securities, put them into a proper authority with an independent chairman and the idea is that this chairman, if there is a fight between two national supervisors and you may think will happen never, but uh, some of you who are, are inside and know that can happen. Different views among supervisors, there can, um, uh, can be some kind of referee. 
But the important thing is supervision stays at the national level. And the report says a little bit about step number three. Uh, code to two cross-sectoral uh, authorities, one for prudential, one for conduct of business, and put the powers at the European level. But that's only put as which could happen in the future if the step two does not work. And uh, especially in the Netherlands, uh, Minister Bos uh, and also Welling from the, the Central Bank were very disappointed that we uh, were not setting this third step. But there was no majority for that in, uh, in Europe. And finally, just an afterthought before starting uh, the real lecture, uh, I think uh, the crisis